Hello my subscribers, it's your girl Chef Rambo and I'm back with another video for you guys today. I know, I know, y'all wanna know what I'm making? Just take a guess y'all, I'm making homemade chili dogs y'all and I'm gonna actually have this with some chili, um, chili sauce. I'm gonna have this with some onion rings y'all. This is just an easy quick recipe that I love making for uh, friends, family, and just a quick meal around the house to make for my children y'all. So just go ahead and hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, Comment, share and let's go ahead and get started on today's video guys okay these are some of the ingredients we're going to be using today guys ground beef black pepper seasoned salt i've got a kroger brand can of sloppy joe mix i've got ketchup garlic powder barbecue sauce onion powder mustard red cayenne pepper i've got my hot dogs my buns and yeah let's go ahead and get started on today's video guys Go ahead and give this a quick stir. Some of that meat is uh, cooking. You wanna go ahead and give it a nice good stir, y'all. Okay guys, our ground beef is all nice and brown. It is time for us to drain it and um, go ahead and put in our seasonings and our sauces. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and drain our ground beef. And you don't necessarily have to take like all of it out, but you wanna take most of it out. So like this is what it looks like, like the finished product. See how it's like a little bit left in there, but it's not like too bad. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put that back over here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add all the sauces. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add the can of Sloppy Joe mix. This step is totally optional. I just find that it helps the chili sauce taste a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add um, about a cup of tomato, tomato, a cup of ketchup. So I guess it is tomato. <coughs> Add a cup of ketchup. I'm gonna also add a cup of brown sugar. This is like my secret ingredient for chili dogs, guys. It really balances out the acidity from the tomatoes and it makes it taste so good. I'm gonna also add um, a teaspoon of mustard, if it ever comes out. <laughs> I am going to also add some of the sweet baby rays that I was telling you guys about earlier. I'm gonna do a cup of sweet baby rays. Okay. Teaspoon of red cayenne pepper. And like I said, some of these steps are like optional, like you don't have to add them, but it just makes it taste so much better. A half a tablespoon of seasoning salt. A half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Okay guys, I went ahead and added my black pepper off camera because I can't do it and still hold the camera to film. Okay, I'm going ahead and adding in a half a tablespoon of onion powder, guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice stir. all those delicious ingredients up. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna also add a little bit of salt, guys. Okay, guys, I went ahead and covered the chili sauce. Um, I'm gonna let this 
um, cook on low heat for about 10 minutes and then I'll go ahead and give it another stir. As you see, our water is boiling. So I am gonna go ahead and add my um, Nathan's beef Go ahead and add these. It's always one that wants to get stuck. <laughs> okay, there we go. those out okay and we're gonna let these hot dogs boil for 10 minutes okay guys I'm also gonna add some hot sauce and a little bit of apple cider vinegar to my chili sauce the apple cider vinegar is kind of gonna help with the acidity and the chili um, sauce so I'm just gonna add about um, a little less than half a cup so just a little bit like that and then I'm gonna also do about 10 drops of hot sauce. Okay. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and add our onion rings to the oven so they can go ahead and start cooking. I've got it set to 360 and we're gonna let this cook in here for about 30 minutes y'all. Okay guys, it's been 20 minutes and our sauce is so beautiful. Look at this, look at this. Do y'all see what I'm seeing, man? Do y'all see this? Oh my gosh, it's like sweet and spicy and tomatoey. It's so good, it's so good, you guys.